I'm just preparing everything. Good day, everyone, and I hope you're all doing fine today. And I know you're very excited because I am very excited as well. And as what we have said, I have posted before this afternoon, we are going to have an interview with India's Prides, Menakshi Chaudhary, Miss Grand India 2018, first runner up. So, right now, we'll just go ahead and invite her in. I mean, can you hear me properly? Say yay. Oops. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. I am so excited to so do this. Hi. And I know we've been talking. <laughs> I know we've been talking Instagram for a long time, but this is our first time Absolutely. to do a live chat. So I'm very excited. <laughs> Thank you. Can you and of course, me? you're super beautiful. <laughs> yes, perfectly. Awesome. And can you hear awesome. me too? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I was just waiting That's for That's great. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited to be honest. So, how's your day today before we officially begin? Wow, my day has been going good so far. Today was a Sunday, so finally no classes. And uh, I've just been like excited and waiting for this life to come up. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been just preparing for that. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, <laughs> let's officially begin. So I believe there's really no need for us to introduce you because everybody <laughs> knows you, especially in the pageant world. So we all started this with Miss Grand International. That's where the hype for you and the love for you officially began. So let right. us all begin with you telling us your experience with Miss Grand International. Oh my God, I think this has been one of the best experiences of my life so far. Something that changed my life completely and uh, my life has never been the same ever since, you know. Uh, from becoming a Miss India, then to be able to represent your country internationally, uh, to Miss Grand International and, you know, for people vouching to be able to get the crown for your country and uh, being, being the first person to be able to do that if that's possible, you know, it, it was... It's like a lot of people uh, with their hopes and wishes in your shoulder and you wanting to do well itself, you know, it was, it was an amazing experience. And for a 21-year-old, right from college, you know, to be able to do this, it was a dream come true, honestly. I had the best time. I, I made some amazing memories, a lot of great friends, girls from all over the world, you know. It was a beautiful experience and I think I still, I still miss it so much. I keep looking at the pictures from that time and, you know, just uh, reminiscence about all of the things that we've done, videos and everything. So it was a beautiful experience. Thank you very much for sharing that. And you know what? I still cannot contain myself. I'm still <laughs> super excited that this is finally happening. Um, do you still remember who were your roommates in Miss Grand International? Yeah, so we had, uh, we were traveling a lot. So our roommates kept on changing in different places where we were going. But my first roommate was Miss Denmark. And she was the youngest in the entire competition. Such a lovely girl. And, you know, we would just share while we were so tired by the end of the day. But uh, we would still make time to discuss and talk. You know, the girl talks and you realize, oh, God, I mean, it's everywhere. It's the same thing. You all have the same girl problems, no matter what country you're from. So, you know, it was great to be able to uh, relate to that. And then I had uh, Miss Brazil was my roommate for one destination that we were in and even Miss Hong Kong. So I had a great time with all of them. <laughs> I, I'm really happy knowing this, cha this change in roommates because based on what I have noticed with Miss Universe, right. they assigned roommates who are close to your country mm -hmm. or something connected to your country. What I love about your roommates is that it's a really diverse selection of roommates so that's really interesting and oh, fun absolutely. as well absolutely you know uh, from Denmark I could uh, literally the youngest person so I was able to understand her psyche and to be able to learn so much from her I, I would interact with her parents when she would video call them so and she'd be talking to mine as well and then Miss Brazil is such a beautiful girl and she helped me decide what outfits to wear you know I was so confused which ones to go for and she would give me that and uh, with Miss Hong Kong we had the best time we'd be doing karaoke sessions in the night <laughs> although we were so exhausted but we'd make time okay this is when you're gonna wake up okay I'll do that so I'll have my things done beforehand and all so it was an amazing time that I had I, I just love listening <laughs> to you speak about your experience because I can really feel that you truly enjoyed the experience when you Absolutely. competed. Now, do you still communicate with other contestants 
Oh, like, yeah. I mean, as of this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. In fact, oh, um, a lot good. of them. Yeah, we still have a group um, on on WhatsApp where we all have a group of our batch. And um, in fact, whatever close friendships I've had with some of the other contestants that I kind of really got along with, I still talk to them. I still kind of post wherever I can help, and we all talk about uh, whatever is going on in our lives. I think uh, all of us have grown so much after the pageant is over. You know. Uh, people are doing wonderful things in their career somebody's finished college somebody's already started a new thing they're starting their own um, you know work and it's so amazing and inspiring to see that thank you that really sounds amazing <laughs> now i'm not sure if you have seen the seen an interview with Ava Patalinho mm -hmm. Miss Grand Philippines mm -hmm. who you competed with she yeah. was actually asked on an interview and she mentioned that if ever she will finish first runner up you would be her winner <laughs> if that happened. And of course, she was also asked who was the biggest threat. She also mentioned that you are the biggest <laughs> threat to win that time. Oh my so how do you God. feel I, about that? I feel the same about her. She was so prepared and she was, you know, like such a great uh, contender. And the best thing about her was that she's such a positive soul. You know, um, I think one thing that I learned from this entire experience was it's women competing, um, you know, against each other for one title. And the beauty that I realized, it's a myth when people say, you know, that girls can never be great friends or, um, you know, if it's women in one room, it's impossible to make friends. I think it's the exact opposite of that. You know, I saw so many people cheering for me. I literally saw at the end of the day, there were a lot of people who felt for me. And, and it just, I felt like I had done something amazing to be able to receive that much love and appreciation. And um, Eva is an amazing person. She is so talented, so well spoken, and we would have bus rides together when we were going. So I would sit with her, and uh, we would literally be discussing about things. And I was actually very impressed with the way she thinks, the outlook that she has towards life. She was definitely one of the contenders to beat at the pageant for sure. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And yes, she really talked about you in a very very positive way <laughs> during this interview. Now, before the finale of the pageant, you became the heavy favorite. To win, and I'm 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 pretty sure you're aware of that as well. Did you feel like you're going to finish high in the competition? I mean, coming in before the finale, did you feel like many people believed in me that I could win? Maybe I could really win. Do you feel that way before the finale? And speaking of the finale, who do you consider as well as your biggest threat that time? Um, absolutely. To be very honest, Avin, I think. Um... When you go for a pageant, you put in your 200%, you know, and you're going there not to just participate, but to emerge as a winner and, and make your country and yourself proud, you know. So I was pretty much focusing on that. For me, it wasn't like um, I wanted to win, I think, and so did all the other girls, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I was always uh, very grateful every single day when I would see messages of people and whatever hot pics and, you know, people uh, putting in such amazing comments on the pictures that I'd be posting. Thing. And before prelims also, at the prelims, I think a lot of people were like, you know, you're going to do well and all. And it just really boosted my confidence. And that's literally what I needed at the end of the day, you know, because you are so representative and a lot of people eyeing on you looking um, to be able to uh, see the victory just as you want to see it, but through your eyes, through your experience. So I think um, it was, um, of course, I would say I went there to win. And I think I came back as a winner as well. I won't really think anything less of that. So uh, for me, it was an amazing experience to just be there, participate, and to be able to show the world what I honestly am capable of. So I think that was an, uh, an achievement in itself. And uh, to talk about competition, I think there were a lot of girls. So you know how it is like? It's like a thing that you do before you enter the pageant. You kind of keep an eye on all the contestants <laughs> that are going to be a part of the pageant, right? So you keep on reading about them, seeing them. And you're like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And oh, it's going to be fun, you know, with her. So I think for me also, I loved Australia. I loved Philippines. I loved Venezuela. They are amazing. I think every year they come up with an amazing contestant. That's the one to beat. Um, Mexico was really strong and uh, so well prepared, so well groomed and such a stunning woman she was. And uh, I think a lot of them, I, and I had a fun group also of people who I was like, if they become, it's going to be like the best time ever that Miss Grand International is going to have. But a lot of people with different personalities, something to look up to and, and know that every girl could relate to them. You know, it's not just one type of a thing that you say this is a winner but I think every girl we're going there to celebrate womanhood 
to celebrate women in general and we were all different and that was the beauty of it so i think uh, yeah absolutely it was an amazing thing another thing is that i i mean my final prediction i have you as my winner and paraguay mm-hmm. as my first runner up yeah. after the pageant people were actually asking what did you see in paraguay <laughs> and why did you put her yeah. in your second place I mean, i mean i think both these two ladies are really amazing which is why i'm truly happy that both of you were the last two standing so what do you think about paraguay because people still couldn't guess why she reached that high and even win the title Right, right. I think um, she is a self-made independent woman, you know, and uh, she knows what she's doing. Very focused. I think even throughout the pageant, she was um, always very focused on what she wanted and have had a great time with all the girls. I think for her, what I felt like was something where I lacked was the experience. You know, she she's lived more in terms of the experiences and life had to offer. So she's taken that very well into her pageant experience. And I was. just 21 you know right after college and uh, being the bubbly and yeah. just making sure everybody's having a great time and it's nice to fun to talk to but i think she was uh, she was very very strong um, in her thoughts in her outlook and i think that was something very impressive and that i could learn from her so uh, i think for her it was that i think absolutely she she's a woman of a word and something that when she speaks you know you can um, when when i was interacting with her other times as well i i got to know she she has a lot of knowledge about a lot of things and that's definitely uh, been in her favor as as somebody who you could stand out of so okay thank you mm-hmm. i didn't really think of this question before yeah. but since many people are asking and i was actually surprised as well with your reaction when she fainted so <laughs> oh how was your co- <laughs> how, how, that is- i mean I as a pageant fan when I was watching I was shocked as well because I could not believe that happened. I was uh, honestly when they announced the results you know for a second I was like wow that's amazing okay it was it was a lot to take in and then the next thing I see she's just you know I was holding and I was going to come and hug her and I felt like sh- something's wrong I, she was just going down and I'm like oh god I was taken aback for a second I had no idea what to do you know this was I was already having a lot to register with myself. I've been declared as the first runner up and now I see this. I was like it was um I mean it was like a lot to take in and honestly I was really clueless and wanted to help her but then I was wearing a gown and you know I couldn't even bend properly. <laughs> it was like a lot of things. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, oh my god that was that was something. It was um I would say something that I'll never forget in my life. <laughs> yes, me too. That's because I mean first time i've seen <laughs> in a coronation true, i mean true. people can make their own exa- i mean can, i mean can make their own comments about it but I, but i enjoyed that because that Absolutely. became a memorable <laughs> coronation true now speaking of the gown that you wore who chose the gown that you wore in the finale i mean does do you just take what your team gave you or mm. do you also have a, deci- a a part of the decision making when it mm. comes to the gown selection So uh when we are preparing there's like an entire team that is given for the winner like you know all the winners have a team working for them be it the social media part be it what outfits to wear we have a stylist on board so a lot of people collectively work towards this one entire pageant prep so uh, for me we had an entire team that was there obviously they asked for my what color would you like what are the options so i gave them a few options of the colors i would like and um, what kind of design would look great and then of course i would want something but i don't know as a designer if it will look good on my body you know as in they would be better judges of that so they were like what will look flattering to your body type and uh, what will make you stand out and everything so i think it was a team effort and i gave in my inputs they were giving their parts that they felt could actually add up and uh, we ended up creating two beautiful gowns uh, for prelims and for the finale so yeah that was the whole process of it yes both gowns i mean the gown <laughs> that you wore was just amazing so i'm really <laughs> glad to know as well that you are part of the decision making because i believe that no the absolutely the contestants must be comfortable with whatever yeah, they want I, to wear yeah and i you know i feel like um, as much as it is um, a part of you representing your country it is also you representing yourself you know it's your face it's your body it's you being there living breathing saying speaking and that's coming out there i think it's as much as it is important for the country it is important for you to feel yourself completely knowing that you are in your thing that you've wanted and uh, present yourself to the best of your abilities so you have to feel great about yourself before you make sure you make your country look great that's an important thing exactly 
Yeah. Now, for the future representative of India in Miss Grand International, because your achievement is something <laughs> that really they really need to reach that high as well, or at least beat that. I mean, <laughs> first one up is such a tremendous achievement. Are you also willing to be part of the preparation of the future representatives of your country to Miss Grand? Well, I always say never say never. <laughs> so that's something that I'm that's always good. open to because you know life is very uncertain. You never know. I I wanted to. I'm starting to be a dentist, you know, and then Miss India happened, and then modeling and acting, everything uh, uh, took off from that. So uh, if you can do different things, it doesn't doesn't have to be one thing. Life is. So short to be able to say what is right, what is not. Go through it, live your experiences, and definitely that's one of the best experiences that you could actually live. And uh, being a passion fan myself, I think um, that's that's the best that it could get. So absolutely. <laughs> okay, thank you. And it's almost two years since you competed in Miss Grand International. So what's the difference between the Menakshi that we witnessed in 2018 compared to the <laughs> Menakshi that we have now? A lot has changed. I think uh, from that 2018 to right now, what she's seeing in front of you, uh, she's a lot more um, calm. She is a lot more um, comfortable in her own skin. You know how it is like when you're young, you have a lot of insecurities in college and school. There are things that you're not comfortable with, or you're shy of showing. And I think I've just um, learned to embrace my flaws the way it is, and uh, to be more comfortable knowing that there is nobody like me. I think to be able to accept your uniqueness and to take that as your USP and work towards it is something that I've learned uh, after Miss India. It definitely boosted my confidence. I am definitely a lot more confident, and um, you know, I would say somebody who can even go out and say, "Hi, I'm Minakshi." You know, because I wasn't that way. I was very studious, always in books, and uh, wanted to do good for myself. But I never thought that I'd be able to address the crowd, you know, and make my thoughts. Come out and express it the way I want. So uh, I'm I'm truly grateful for that. And um, yeah. <laughs> yes, you may not have won the crown, but you definitely won many hearts, and you have Absolutely. left people <laughs> craving for more <laughs> Minakshi. And having said that, probably this is a question that everybody really wanted to know. <laughs> Do you okay. still have plans? So <laughs> this is really a very, very interesting question, especially for me. Do you still have any plans to enter an international pageant in the future? If yes, what pageant are you targeting to join in? Well, um, like I said, never say never. And um, I'm I'm still 23. I've got like um, a whole lot to be able to live and try and experience. So if the right opportunity comes by and um, if it's aligning with what I want to do at the moment or at that time, I think um, definitely I would want to give it a try. And why not go for Miss Universe, just try and represent your country internationally and do the best. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> exactly the answer that we wanted to hear. We would love I knew to see you in Miss I Universe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and of course, if you wanted to go to Miss Universe, you will still compete in Miss Diva. Mm -hmm. I hope it will be allowed because we will be lo we're looking forward to see you compete right. in Miss Diva. Right, that's what I'm saying. And I don't really know how the rules are like, but if that is a possibility, that will be great. And whatever works at the time, whatever is there. So, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm, I'm not sure if Miss Diva, I, I, don't, I don't know the rules as well for Miss mm. Diva, but if you could, then it's time and you are the one who knows when is the perfect time to join absolutely absolutely so we'll just wait for whenever it is and whenever you're ready right. because we'll just be here <laughs> craving for more and supporting you for your future pageant amazing thank you but this, this thank is... you very much and oh, go ahead you know, I was just saying that, you know, every time I see uh, so much of love, I honestly don't know what I've done <laughs> in life to be able to take so much of whatever support and love you guys gave. This this really makes my day and uh, my my journey ever since that time has been phenomenal thanks to the support that you guys have been giving. So I, I just don't know how to say it. And I think whatever I say will be less to be able to express how I feel towards everything you guys do. But thank you. <laughs> You're, you're very welcome from all of us pageant fans and we will never stop until we see you walk on that Miss Universe stage and hopefully winning the crown for India. 
if that happens. <laughs> and of course, uh, I'm very sure you're familiar. Madison Anderson competed Miss Puerto Rico and Miss Grand International, and she went to Miss Universe and almost won the title. Does that give you the feeling that she, tr she, what do you call this? She competed in Miss Grand International and competed in Miss Universe successfully from third one up to first one up. Maybe I can do it too. Do you have that same feeling as well? I mean, your first one up. I mean, you could either finish first one up or probably, most likely, win Miss Universe. <laughs> right, right. I think she is phenomenal. She is beautiful, smart, the way she carries herself. I saw her entire performance and I became a fan of hers. She is a pageant delight. Like, every pageant fan's delight to be able to see her walk and, uh, you know, do whatever she's done. And it is beautiful. I think absolutely that does really give you a hope to be able to say that, you know, impossible is nothing. If you are truly passionate and if you're truly willing to be able to give your dreams a shot, no matter what has happened in the past, um, every day is a new day. And tomorrow is going to be full of new opportunities. So uh, I think, yeah, impossible is nothing. And, and who's decided anyways what is allowed, what is not? We've made the rules, right? And uh, I think it's your belief, passion and dreams that can lead you to achieve whatever in life you want to do. And we have ample of examples right now surviving on this planet as well. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? I just love the positivity in you all the time especially in the way you answer the question the, the your point of view it's just amazing <laughs> thank you and I, I i'll just have a random question here that i have seen i mean i'm not sure have you already met adeline Castellino? oh yes i have she's our next person to be able to do justice to the pageant that we're sending her for and she's an amazing girl so talented oopsie can you hear me? Oh, um, you froze a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, let's continue. <laughs> Everything went back to normal now. Right, right. Oh, so can you, uh, yeah. So going back to Adeline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, I was just saying that she's an amazing person. I've met her in person and I've spent some amazing time with her and I got to know more about her as a person and her journey. And I must say it is truly inspiring. She's a hard worker and uh, so down to earth and humble. And I think that's going to lead her very very high and far in life so and you know what i have i was interviewed last i mean yesterday by someone from your country as well and you know what our fantasy is it's seeing at lead miss universe 2020 <laughs> and seeing you win back to back for 2021 <laughs> i mean that would be amazing i mean wow. we would love to see that yeah 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 but that's amazing it's so it's and, so, yeah Oh, I mean, what are your opinions as well about people who believe that you could potentially take home the Miss Universe crown for India? I mean, um, I think we've had some really amazing representatives to date, whoever's gone and represent internationally um, at the Miss Universe pageant. Um, India has got an immense amount of talent, you know, when it comes to amazing, beautiful girls who are so strong in their opinions, are, are amazing when it comes to talking and being able to express. I think we need more girls like that. And um, absolutely, I, I, I don't know how it's going to be like, but the only thing that I can say is the future of pageantry looks very bright and positive. And I hope it's time for India soon, whatever pageant is that we are going in for. So. Yes, and as what I have mentioned in the, the interview yesterday, I, to me, I don't really think that India lost its, what they call this, its powerhouse status, because you're still winning here and there, even male pageantry, so yes. you, you can, you still have that will and that, you know, you know, the chance to win is still the same as everybody else, and of course, you can still grab the crown as long as you set a great representative, because we have seen that in many different pageants. Absolutely. So you're not losing your light in the world of pageantry. Absolutely. And let me just ask. Okay, let me just ask. Um, pageants are quite slow right now because mm. of this pandemic. I mean, in, to you, what's your greatest generalization about this realization? I mean, about this pandemic, in this time of pandemic? Well, I think for a lot of us, it has been a wake-up call. We've all realized the um, importance of um, taking care of our planet, taking care of ourselves. 
in a lot of ways everything's interrelated you know nothing just happens out of the blue it has come from a place one action has led to another reaction and that's how it is going on so i think for a lot of us we've learned to value our lives a lot more we've learned to value the people we have around us i definitely have i i've been working constantly every single day for the last 2 years of my life um if if i'm not working as a model or an actor i am studying you know to be able to finish my exams so i i somewhere was not uh, i was not able to give myself that time or to give my family that much time because i was just trying to finish you know and be able to work and and study and finish the things that i have going on um but i've realized this whole thing made me realize you know just take a seat back enjoy where you are see how far you've come reflect back on that and and what all it has done for you and it is important to realize that you know your time is limited as much as we want to live forever but we all know if birth is something that is inevitable so is death <laughs> and uh, the least you can do is just embrace every single second that you have living on this planet and make the most of it so absolutely this has been a truly truly um <laughs> self reflecting time for a lot of us i'm sure so yeah <laughs> yes thank you beautiful answer i mean <laughs> Well, it's like you're answering a final question. <laughs> and I'm not sure if we have some more questions here for mm-hmm. our viewers. If you have some question, then you can just post it and if I can read them, I will be answering you. I we will we she will I mean actually will be answering your Absolutely. question. And So yes. hi everybody who okay. just joined our live and uh... <laughs> So um Uh, let me just think of some more question. Absolutely. I mean, uh, how about Miss World? Miss World is an amazing pageant. You know, I competed uh, in Femina Miss India, which actually ultimately the main winner goes to Miss World. So for me, yes. um, it was a year before that I'd actually auditioned for Miss Universe. So not a lot of people know this. Um, a year before I actually came, um, I had auditioned for Miss Diva, and um, I couldn't make it then through the top sixteen or, or whatever it was at that time. So I came next year. I was more prepared. I was more uh, groomed. I worked on myself a lot more, and I think it worked in my favor. Probably because a lot of things that were going on in my life to be able to, you know, I had a great loss in my life, and then somewhere I just wanted to distract myself from what was happening in my personal life. And um, I think one thing led to the other. Sometimes it's just God's way of turning around your life. So uh, that that's what happened. Exactly. So yeah, I think Miss World is a beautiful pageant, and um, I I believe I love their ideology of um, you know beauty with the purpose because I think every person has that beauty exactly. in them, and that's what they try to reflect upon and do as an ambassador of that. So I think it's amazing. Yes, beauty with a purpose is really the core of Miss World, and True. that makes it makes it very very special. And by the way, who ins before you joined pageantry, who inspired you to go into pageants? Oh I had a lot of them you know ever since I was a little girl I would just take the Femina magazine and I would just go through the pictures have a cut out of them and my parents would be like what are you doing I'm like I want to be that I had no idea what that was but I loved the feel of crown and to be able to see them you know uh I I've always loved uh, Lara she is an amazing amazing person so well spoken an amazing personality something that I would love to be even half as good as she is i think i'd be considering myself the luckiest and sushmita sen i think we all know her she literally brought back um creating history by winning the first miss uh, universe crown for india and um Ishwara Rai is there. We have Diana Hayden. We have so many people who've done amazing. And and not only that, I was also like um, Rio Mori from Japan. I really loved her. She was so herself during the entire pageant that made me fall in love with her a lot more. You know, she did not feel like she's competing. She was just being herself, representing herself. And, exactly. And uh, that was the most beautiful part about her. And when you acknowledge who you truly are and are not shy to put that out to the world, that's. That's amazing. Confidently beautiful, as you say. So yeah. Yes, love her reaction as well when she was crowned because it yeah, feels absolutely. like she didn't expect that she will win. <laughs> true, true, true. And how's your family? Are are they very supportive of you when it comes to these pageants? Oh, um, for them it was a new thing altogether because nobody in my family had ever thought of. You know, I come from um, a family where my dad was in the army. and um, i was studying to be a doctor and then eventually maybe join army as a doctor so for me it was um 
you know mostly focused on that i never thought i had a dream of being that but i didn't know how that will be possible you know there was nobody to guide me towards it so uh, but once i became miss india my family i think they are the proudest <laughs> of anybody who i've ever known my mother she is 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 a beautiful woman so kind and and so modest and i think i i truly get inspired by her every single day you know and uh, i'm the first uh, the fact that my dad was the first army officer from his village and i'm the first doctor when miss india now an actor from my village is 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 a big achievement for all of us so my my family is really proud and supportive of what i do and i'm truly grateful for that i'm sure they are <laughs> um, i've seen a comment here and i believe many of us wanted to hear you again introduce yourself and then <laughs> your country's name oh the one that we usually hear in the fashion <laughs> introduction <laughs> Oh god I'm going to do that the grand international <laughs> style the way that Minakshi yes, Chaudhary Yes please Okay I'm going to do it again <laughs> Minakshi Chaudhary Miss Grand India <laughs> 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 we love that, and I, love I know. I, 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 if we have so much time, with I would really love to talk more about you. But for now, what is your final message to all the people who are supporting you, who really wanted you to go to Miss Universe? And someone po posted a comment that finally their and their question has been answered for <laughs> two years, whether you'll go yes. to Miss Universe or not. So, what's yes. your message to? these people who are supporting you and wanted to see you in Miss Universe. I mean the first thing that I would say to all the young aspirants who are planning to join the pageantry is the never ever ever give up. You know never give up. This is one thing you should just write in block letters and and just exactly. keep it in your mind never give up because first thing is this is a competition, you know. Somebody will lose, somebody will win. Priya is is a classic example of you never giving up on mm, your dreams exactly. and ultimately achieving it, you know. And uh, we have we've done it in the past. We have done it right now and we can do it in the future. You should never ever think any less of yourself because if you can dream it, you can definitely achieve it. You know, you know yourself the best. So never doubt that about yourself because there are already a lot of naysayers and people who will try to bring you down. You have to be your own cheerleader. And the second thing is work on yourself every single day constantly with a lot of discipline. That's the only way to be able to do well in whatever field you decide to go for. Because you know hard work there's no substitute for that. Luck might come, might go, you can't really trust in that, mm. but um, hard work is something even if you don't win you will see the world being appreciative of your hard work and that never goes waste so that's all and and in the end i would say thank you thank you so much for everything everything i don't know how i'll be able to put it out there but literally you guys have made me who i am today and i am truly grateful for that every single message if i could reply to everything i would have loved to but it's just impossible for me to do that but i try and do that as much as possible and i see all of your tags i see all of your mentions thank you for everything that means a lot and i i i'm truly grateful so <laughs> exactly thank you so much perfect thank you thank answer. you so much alvin and, and you alvin i would like to say thank you for making me come on this live because i was not going live a lot and i was just dreading this question a lot but it's always super nice to talk to you you're such a nice person and um, i just hope you keep growing <laughs> Thank you very much and you know how much I am happy to have this opportunity with you this is such a beautiful beautiful moment thank you very thank much you. as well thank you thank you from philippines to india thank you thank you so much and right now i believe we're done with the interview and we will keep an eye on you and of course <laughs> still wishing to see you on the miss universe stage absolutely <laughs> absolutely Okay, thank you very much thank and you. hopefully you have a great afternoon and to all our viewers as well. Thank you very much thank for you. watching our interview and I hope you're now satisfied. <laughs> Minakshi already answered your question and all we need to do now is wait for the right time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. Thank you again. So to everyone who have watched the interview so I really hope you are satisfied I'm really hoping that you're happy with what we did with what Menakshi gave us very very beautiful answers to all the question and you know I still 
can't get over it. I'm really, really glad it happened. And I'm really glad she allowed us to do that interview. I'm so, so happy. How about you? Are you happy? She's, she's joining Miss Universe. And we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait. And for this interview, I will be saving this as for your request. And I will be uploading. So this will not stay long on Instagram. So I will be uploading this on my YouTube channel. So just if you wanted to watch it over and over again, you can. Thank you very much. And have a lovely afternoon. I will be uploading three more videos today. Um, review for Poland, Miss Universe 2020. Uh, Miss Universe Poland 2020, Croatia, uh, Cayman Islands, and Curacao. So be sure to check that out. Thank you very, very much. And Menakshi, thank you very much. This is just a beautiful moment. I, I, I really wanted, I mean, I could not contain my smile. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Thank you very much. I'm also requesting other interviews, but we'll just, well, I'm just waiting for the reply of other people, of the people that I sent my request to, because others need some, you know, we need to, I mean, if you, for example, if I wanted to interview this person, I really need to ask approval from this person. So it, I'm not sure if that will work. But for others, it's really easy. Like Minakshi, so it's really, it really happened. Madison Anderson, I have already interviewed her. It's already available in my YouTube channel. I interviewed her prior to Miss Universe 2020 competition. My channel is still my name, Aldin Sabatero, so be sure to check that out. Adeline, I will do my best to interview her. Suman, I also sent a request since last year, so I'm really hoping she could get back to me so we can talk about her experience, or probably she might go to Miss Universe as well. Who knows? Suman Rao is just an amazing, amazing representative too. I am glad to see people here, aside from India, who are, I mean, I'm so glad to see people outside of India as well. There's a lot of people coming from India. There's also from Puerto Rico, so that's amazing. Oh my gosh, Nehal. One, you know, you know, Nehal is one of my favorite representatives from India. Again, thank you, thank you so much for watching our live interview. So be sure to check that out in my YouTube channel if you wanted to rewatch it. I mean, if you wanted to capture that short clip where she answered that she will be joining Miss Universe, you can. I I give you all the permission to repost it whenever you want. So thank you very much. I believe I have to end now. So thank you very much for staying here. Thank you.